Hey everyone, here I am again, Emmy van Tiel, and Theo is going to give me a new haircut and he just told me what, and it's, I'm very excited about it. Um, so I'm gonna turn for you so you can see what it looks like now. And yeah. this haircut was a big success. I had so many compliments on this new age Corella de Veil look, and I absolutely loved it. So I'm really looking forward to the new haircut. Okay, let's start with you. Yeah. Papers in black. really like them. They are for the rest the same like the, the white ones. They look a bit more fashionable. Yeah, it looks yeah. really crazy. Yeah. So it suits better. <laughs> Let's start with <laughs> <laughs> wedding the hair. Now of course I know what her hair is and what it does because I did a lot of hairstyles on her. But I always think what can be better or more special or more exciting. So I'm going to work on that. It will stay in an asymmetrical line. It will certainly leave the front in a dark color. But start in the underlies. So take away the upper hair. Set it aside. Start on this side. Set up my glasses, otherwise I don't see that much. Nah, that's not true. It's just one and a half plus. <laughs> I think you can kind of feel your way through cutting it. Oh yes, yes, yes. I can do it even in the dark, but then they don't see it on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> that would be something. Yeah. Stunning, sensational. <laughs> you turn out the light and when we got uh, back, there's a hairstyle. Dum, 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 dum. Okay, turn it so you can see with me. Start on the sides. Get rid of the. Black, there is already in. But there will be new black, of course. And I'm blonde again! Yeah. <laughs> the world of magic hair. Yeah. Get rid of the dark hairs. Don't need them anymore. <laughs> Put the blade to the back, creating a nice soft line. Getting in the under hairs. And get to the old parting line. Put my blade to the back, coming into the line of cutting. You can see Emmy has ultra fine hair, so when you use dark colors, it looks a lot stronger. Put that pin out of the way around. Know that it comes from an asymmetrical line, so work till there. Of course, I'm gonna use R of Kin. And I think, especially the dark ones, are very sensational. Get rid of the woolly hairs. And before I go any further, I clean this up with a small clip. <laughs> I create those clippers. Clean those contour with a small clipper. She had nice facial lines and are loving her wonderful small ears. I really love ears. <laughs> but most of you who know my videos know I have a ear fetish also. Not only a hair fetish. I really like the shapes of ears. And they are so nice, sensible. And we need them so in life because otherwise we don't hear anything. Yeah. Clean this up. You can see when I work with a small clipper, her skin is also sensitive, so always be aware that I don't push too hard on the skin. You can see that on the lighting up reds, so don't force anything. Because otherwise it would look too bold, and it's even winter time, so I don't want that. Stop. 
stay in our natural lines. So I take the eyebrow line as a guideline. And the last hairstyle, she had a double asymmetrical line. I had also an asymmetrical line to the opposite lines. That I can get rid of now. Because now I can get it in colors. Work my line in and let it flow up. Put my blade to the back again, coming into the line of cutting. Put it in the sharpest position and clean the skin. Back to the combing position. Put a lovely ear to the front. Get rid of the hairs behind that. You can see how much her hair has grown. It's not even that long ago that we did her hair. If you have healthy air, air in Rotterdam. <laughs> I think. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, compared to some countries. Oh yes. yeah, it's the main port of Europe. Exactly. Gently go over the lines of cutting. Play with my comb. Let my comb guide the hairs into the clipper. They give the directions. And the hairs tell me what to do. For one so from line down to ears. Go to the front. Clean the contour line. And go to my small clipper again. Take my small clipper of Kiona. Get rid of the small hairs. Set out a nice neckline. Small hairs that hide behind the ears, they're always there. Be aware you don't lean too hard on the blades, otherwise you can bite into the ears. Because the skin is very mm. fine there. Clean this, go to my normal system. Create a nice line. Because I gotta make her a, a strong hairstyle, I can make also strong lines. So I can make the connection to the front nice, firm and strong. And then go over to normal cutting. Take the hairs up, bend them a little bit to the back, so take them up to my comb, lay them in a graduation by pulling them to the comb into the direction. Point my fingers into the direction of cutting and give it that small curve to the back. This way I'm certain that it lays nicely in a flow. So I like zelfs kon zien ook naast dat ik knip. Na een hele dag weer, ik is het best ook knap ook dat staat te doen nou. Nou, dat vind ik sowieso. So now I have a nice strong line. Sharpen the line to the back. I would love to have a sharp line on the asymmetrical line.
get to my overflow. I can see still the line of overflowing from the left to the right and the right to the left into this line. But this line has to be strong. Take some new hair on it. Lay it on the nice roundings of the skull. Lay it in the natural lines. So come into the natural lines, go in from above, bend my scissor with the back down. Get some new hair on it. And make it that when she goes swimming, because she does swimming, <laughs> that the hairs always stay in a nice haircut. So not when they lay to the back you have strange hairs hanging over the, the lines of the contour. So keep them strong. So now I come to the longer side. Part the line again into the line of the chin line. Lay the front on top. Water. Take the fine part of my comb. Comb the hairs nicely into the shape. Take them up with my comb, lay my fingers in the line of cutting and create a line pointing on the line that I just created. Sorry, it's in the oor onder. Hè? Zat hij er net ook al? Connected the lines. You can see I take a little bit off because it's a little, little bit long. Go for the same line again. Working in between again. For your wet hairs, you can better see the line. So lay it down gently. Don't force the thing, freehand style, correct the line. But it sticks out a little, little hairs from behind the ear. Coming to the last lines on top. Again, lay them into the roundings, follow the natural lines. Don't force anything, go in with my scissor again. Holding on to the lines. Front, again, wet. Puntje is wel heel droog, hè? Dat voorste puntje. Ja, de voorste wel. Ja. Moet kijken wat meer team op zitten. Ja, ja, gewoon waar ik al zei als lief. Ja. Let me come in the line of cutting. Go in. Die zwart is even wel heel mooi gebleven. Ook. Echt bijzonder, hè? Ja. We're talking about the color black in her hair. It's on bleached hair. And it's still wonderful dark of color. Yeah, because black doesn't normally turn brownish. Yeah, brownish, especially on ble bleached hair, because there's no hold on natural uh, colors. So. Ah. Yeah, but it's it's insane because it's still black. Yeah. It's not a, it's not a hint no, of brown. brown or something. No, not at all. And I swam and I did everything with it. So it's pretty, pretty amazing. Yeah, you have an amazing life. I have an amazing hairdresser as well. It's a bit like Trump. You have an amazing life. <laughs> Always do. No. Lay them. Nicely in the rounding, don't force anything on top because it will jump back when you dry the hairs. So you lay them on the line of cutting and then you see only minor parts sticking out, so that'll take off. It's not much, but it's enough to take off. Klinkt ook wel leuk. Enough to take off. Ready?
ready for takeoff. Now, I will never be ready. I love heavy. I stay on my head forever. <laughs> Said one hair to the other. <laughs> okay, let's go to the front. <laughs> Crazy hairdresser. <laughs> Luckily, ah, yeah. otherwise it would have been boring. Yeah. That would be. Lay the hairs to the front. Then I see where all the small hairs are. There's still a pair on the sides. Then take off in the freehand style. Then go to the the longer part, take it up, take off the dry ends. And nothing more than that. Tickle it? Mm. Tickles. That's the color. I think that's all we'll do. Yeah. You almost have to put a little bit of the it's also fine by you, these really fine haartjes die you have. It's also funny, the, the, the short black hairs over there, they started curling. <laughs> <laughs> and normally I don't really see it because they're blonde, but yeah. now they were black, so they yeah. were like curling. Yeah. It's like they were embracing the, the blonde hairs. <laughs> <laughs> they want to be blonde. So cute. Again. <laughs> Clean this up. Go to top. Do it, Kirina. No. Take only the part on a 45 degrees angle that is in the outside of the hairs and only a minor part, not more than that. Just that over a fine part. This gives a slight running to the sharp sides of the hairstyle. And I'm certain I did all the hairs. And when this is done, I'm gonna make her a bleach and a color. And a color. Add more color. <laughs> yeah. Till Christmas time. <laughs> ding, dong, ding, ding. Now people think I'm gonna have green hair with Christmas lights. Yes. <laughs> And I'm your ding along. <laughs> so for so far the cut, so now I can make a colors. For kin, start with the black color. I told you I'm gonna work the lines in in the other way. So I take the parting line as a, a line. So I have to do very secure. I also have to do that very secure while styling next week. <laughs> wow, that's not a problem when they're laying out the, the way they shoot. Yeah. They stay the way they shoot. Take a parting line over the back. A little bit higher up. But that you see afterwards. Get rid of some small hairs. And that's the beauty of having the hairs dry, but then you can see the hairs that stick out a bit. So I see them afterwards also, so I always correct them a bit. I'm not afraid to correct. Starting with black, go a little bit higher up. I can always color this back but next time because I have color return products. And otherwise we create something that suits. I remember last year uh, you dyed my hair bright pink, which yeah. is beautiful. Yeah. And then afterwards, the, the time after that, I asked you to make it blonde again because I was gonna get married and my dress was light pink, like yeah, yeah, yeah. old pink. 
And then you also used uh, the decolorization, but there were some light, sh uh, some ah, slight just, shades of pink still in yeah. there. And it was so beautiful. Yeah, it was it like matched a, the dress so well. It yeah, was, so it was like a wine, some white wine yeah. with uh, rosé wine. Oh, it was so beautiful. Because like the top hairs were blonde, I remember, but underneath there were some pink shades. It was yeah. so beautiful. And this is something that you can't, well, of course, you can also make it like that, but you can't really predict Sometimes it. Sometimes it, it is there. Yeah, it's just there. Yeah. It was a gift. Yeah. Yeah, I think you can still find the video on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. C certainly with her. Yeah, and it was a video from last year somewhere, I think in the beginning of October, or like like 10th of October, something we like that. We married two times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that our was... secret. <laughs> oh, <good night. laughs> Yoshi did it here. <laughs> Then I come to the foils, lay the foils on that. Cover this up. It's immediately warm. Yeah. Then I take an ultra fine part of my carton wick, lay it on the black line. Because I need some protection for the overflow. Don't need to be much, but a little bit. And then we go to the blonde. Leave the front out of it. Put the first set in the first line of blonde. Leading with a finger on the carton wig, so I get an ultra strong line. Then I go to the front again. Gotta get myself the black part. Because then I lift over to the other side. Find myself the blonde lines. Just peeling off every time a bit of the dark colors, otherwise they get a bit orange, orange colorish. It's a nice uh, way to tell you that. Orange colorish. Orange. We just had Halloween. <laughs> yeah. But Holland has won from the United States with football, but I don't oh, like football. Oh gosh, yeah, yeah. I also don't follow at all. I, I didn't even watch. No, me neither. It's not my game. No. I actually kind of I actually didn't know that there was a world champ is it I think yeah, world championship until I saw all the Christmas ornaments and shapes of orange lions and stuff. And I was like, why is there so much orange? Why are there like footballs hanging in Christmas trees? <laughs> what I saw was an uh, American footballer who had uh, the Dutch flag in his hair. Oh, really? Yeah, red, white and blue. It must be, of course, the American boss. <laughs> but it's the same as our flag. He was secretly supporting the Netherlands. Yeah, I think so. <sighs> now come to the black again. Black is strong color. And first the part, cut the wig on that. This is the last step we did, it's the moeilijkste van het hele. Ja, want het mag absoluut niet door elkaar komen, het is zo'n nee. contrast. Ja. ja, dat is echt lastig, dit stukje. Het is zo silent. Behind the night. Lay this on the menu foil. Cannot do any harm there. But be assured that there's everywhere black. Make sure all the black is gone. And then I can work my blonde in. I'm going 
te gaan poppen. Ja. Ja? Ja, maar voor smelt de grond dus. Oh, dat is niet erg. In this product is also a step one of the glint line. Gewoon door de damaged hairs. De hairs. Now I come back to black again, because the underlines will be black again. Works like that on the bleach, you can see this, of course. And then cover this up, and we wait for 25 minutes to rinse it out. And then add a new color, add it. So, we're not ready yet. Because it's going to be a surprise! <laughs> of kin because they're very smooth and smell really nice. Yeah. And they're strong. That's what I like the most about them. Yeah they are really strong. When you want to color something you get the color. <laughs> yeah. Okay so you cut wick. On this line I lay also cut wick so don't disturb it. Around the contour I lay cut wick so don't Smash it out with the plastic foils. Part of ways this I do to reduce heat that can get by the foil, because all the heat of the head gets into the hairs on top, so I need some space there. Then I close this, and you just stay there because what certainly back. We're certain of that, <laughs> because we're not ready yet. Close this up. We go for coffee tea. Yes. And then we're back. See you soon. Ooh. Okay, back from uh, coloring the first part. So I'm gonna dry this, and then uh, gonna apply an extra color on there. This I do with a large brush. Because I did not put the conditioners on in the sink, I must be uh, aware of the condition of hair. So I must nurse theirs and to keep them in the best condition. The next step, part has. So I cut, cut to the underlines. For those who don't like silver colors in the hairs after bleaching, you can always take uh, tea, put it over this, and all the violets are gone because it's the opposite line of violet. But we love it. I really like it, yeah, I do. It's a nice winter color. It is. Now I have a colleague in order. But it can help. Yeah, it can. So take the hairs up. Lay them on the foil, I just have to do this on the first line. Lay the hairs nicely on the foil, don't force anything. Put a red color on my brush. Put a photo of the color into the video of course. And I put in a red conditioner so you can see where I put the red color. Very important, otherwise you cannot see what you're targeting. Take a new part on it. That comes in all the point, actually. Normally in the salon I use one of my staff members to guide me with this. Now I have to do it with just one hand. Thank God I'm left and right handed. my next layer and only take the underlines watch through the hairs where I left my color Line. Now 
lay it again on the foil and on the collar. Therefore, it has need to be dry, otherwise you cannot see where you're guiding them and coloring. Now we wait with this for again 25 minutes, so we go again for a tea of coffee. I glued my foil on the plank with a bit uh, gel. This I close up. Massage it gently in. Wait. Then I rinse this out. Then I put in step two and a conditioner. And then we're back for end styling. Okay, uh, color style the hair. We're back. Take a volume of Lanza. It's nice product because the golden glitters in it. And like all the products of Lanza, smell really nice. It's a fluid. Super sweet. Super sweet, yes. Smells like summery cocktails on the beach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on a winter holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Now I'm going to start again uh, with the light brush. Blow drying the hairs. Start in the longer side, building up. Nou, heel erg leuk voor het kerst. Stop. Keep it inside ultra sleek. Create that modern effect. And so far, blow drying. Then I take an ultra fine spray of Lanza that I can restyle. So you can find the lines and play with the hairs. The only thing this spray does, what I don't like about it, is that it um, gives less shine to the hairs. But when you take then the finish spray, it adds shine again to the hairs. So this is the only thing I don't like about this product. It's a bit of powder in it, so you can restyle it. But then you come to the finish spray, it's a lot stronger. This adds more shine to theirs. And this is the hairstyle of Emmy for Kinky Christmas. <laughs> kinky Christmas. Kinky. Woo Sounds good. <laughs> kinky Christmas. I thank you for being my model. I thank you for watching. I wish you all a Merry Christmas, of course, but I will do this certainly in mo much more time. Before, before it is Christmas. It's not even Christmas now. <laughs> I wish Emmy and her family a wonderful Christmas. Yeah. She will certainly have that because it's just love we spread. Love! She will turn around and we see each other next video. Bye bye! Yes, I'm gonna show my amazing new kinky Christmas ah, kinky hairstyle. Christmas uh. hairstyle. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Theo. Love you. I love you too. Good for you, so you can see what it looks like now. And yeah. this haircut was a big success. I had so many compliments on this new age Corella de Veil look, and I absolutely loved it. So I'm really looking forward to the new haircut. Okay, let's start with you. Yeah.